book that you're reading is in English. That's a stronghold in our people. So, okay. Hold on. So, if you're trying to get to our people intellect, you have to let them know that English is a, is a, is a, is a master of words, it's a spell. Uh -huh. If you don't know the etymology of what the words come from, uh -huh. you're still teaching the same thing. Understand this, bro. If you don't really come back to who you really are and keep the commandments, God is going to destroy you. I don't want him to destroy you. We don't want him to destroy you. You keeping up. I love your beard. I love your woolly hair. God loves it. We love it. So humble down to the scriptures because God looks just like you. That's right. Read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Why? Right. For this is the whole duty of man. That's the only reason why you're on the face of this earth. That's right. And because you broke them is the only reason why we on the bottom. We live out here. We we in uh, what's it? South side, Jacksonville, <laughs> West side, wherever it is. We in the ghetto. Justina Road. Road. Y'all should be in mansions. Right, right. The other nations should be bringing the silver and gold they took from you to you right, by the right. boatload. Right. I shouldn't have to worry about in the morning. Dang, it's about ten o'clock. I gotta go in at five. That's not rulership. Right. You're not a God. Then a God don't get up to do nothing. That's right. You understand that? So now that you respect, I'm gonna let you speak. Go ahead and see what you have to say, bro. Same book. Okay. Kings and God. Okay. Y'all got the Zonda book? And he hold that mic. No, we, I'm gonna let him speak though. I'm gonna let him speak loud if you want to speak loud, bro. Okay. Yeah. King James, translated out of the original tongue and briefly translated digitally, compare and revise. Okay. Now, you get a synonym final. Okay. I got one punch screen, but you get one. Okay. Revise, transliterated okay. out of the original tongues will tell you that every word that's in this King James Bible was taken from the original scripture. So, if you don't have other tools to break down each one of these words, you're not getting the wisdom from the word of the Most High. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. So, hold on. I'm listening to y'all. Okay. Uh, yeah. Simplicity in Christ first. Yeah, I'm listening to you, bro. Go ahead, continue. I'm Lord, God, okay. the Most High, are titles. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, they're all titles. Okay. So it's Christ. Okay, so we go to Psalms 119. Okay. Psalms 119. Mm -hmm. You will see that we have the first of the 22 alabets, which is Aleph. Okay. Aleph, Bet. Okay. Gamel. Okay. Dalet. Okay. These are the original okay. languages. That was taken from us. What was the original language? Hebrew. Hebrew, okay. So what Hebrew or, or do we do people speak today? I just want you to tell me that. Have you ever heard of an Ashkenazi Jew? It's all types now. All types of Jews, right? So now, what happened in 1948? 1948 when they came and got their state in Israel. State in Israel, not they, yours. Remember that. So they took our land. So now, what language was established when they took that land? No. What language was established in 1948 when they came and took their land? Yiddish. Right. So now, the Hebrew that you're speaking is today is Yiddish. What we're trying to show, let me say one thing. I'm, 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 I'm going to let you speak again. You're speaking Yiddish that's been passed down from another Edomite to another Edomite to say that that's the original Hebrew. The Bible told you that, look, these people are going to be scattered everywhere. By a nation's tongue that we did not know. That's how the Latinos speak Spanish, by the Spaniards, the conquistadors, conquerors, correct? So, we know the Native Americans and Hispanics were speaking Hebrew, right? The Bible in Jeremiah tells you're going to leave your name or your heritage for a curse. So, we're telling you, yes, our original language was Hebrew. But because we broke God's commandments, you, when you say you know the language or you know the name, you don't. Because it's been taught to you in Yiddish. That's what you're under, that's, what I'm, that's what we're trying to understand to you. But let me read one thing in the design of it and then about the Bible. I gotta get the Bible because you said translate it. Okay. Okay, so what are you speaking now? What I'm saying now, these alabates are written in Hebrew. Okay, in the top of Psalms, all that stuff, the letter and the stuff, yeah. Psalms 119. Right. Right. Each one of them has power. Each one of them has a number one. Um, 
Something's supposed to happen when you say it. No, every one of them has a color, has a tone, okay. has information inside of it. Okay. We don't know, we're not going inside these letters, we're not getting information. All we're doing is going by the, the, the slave language that was given to us. Okay, right, right. Okay, I understand what you're saying now. So earlier you said his name was what? Yahweh in English. You said Yahweh in English now, okay. but you, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm asking a question. Earlier you didn't say Yahweh. You said Yuve Wave, right? They were they right? No, you hey. hey you hey, my hey, bad, my bad. You you've hey, hey right you've here. hey, why they? Why, hey. Okay, so now you say it. You see this right here? Look around. Look around. Right. Alright, I want you to say it real loud. Say say the name. You hey why they? What changed about our people? <laughs> Bring it out. Okay. Say it again. Hold on. First of all, maybe, maybe you didn't say it right. First, first of all, maybe you didn't say it right. Say it one more time. No, brother, what you doing? Look, no, no, because 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 the point I'm making to you, listen, listen. The point the point I'm making is listen. I'm telling, listen. I'm telling you. That's what we're saying to you. That's what we're saying. Read that right here, right quick, bro. That's what we're saying. We're we're agreeing when you just said they don't know it. That's what we're saying. I'm saying it's not gonna move if they don't know. But I want you. They're not gonna move unless you have the laws. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. First Corinthians 14, 26. What you said was absolutely correct, right? They don't know. So you got to edify them, right? Watch what the Bible says. I'm going to show you something. First Corinthians 14, 26. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 26. Uh -huh. How is it then, brethren, when ye come together, every one of you hath a song, hath a doctrine, uh -huh. hath a tongue, have they revelation? So when we come together to teach, everybody say they got a tongue. They got a, a word or how you should say the words, right? Watch this. Have an interpretation. Let all things be done unto edifying. If, if everybody's language here is English, what way should we teach them? What language should we teach in? In English. Why? Because that's going to edify you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on. Read. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on. If any man speak in an unknown tongue. Uh, uh, now we know that that Yiddish is not the original Hebrew. That is not the original Hebrew. Our people have no idea what that is. Right. If I ask this brother to speak, all everything he's been saying has been in English except one or two words, right? The Yahweh, what, what, uh, the, the, the interpretation of God's name. That's the only, in this whole Bible, it's all English except for those, that name. That's it. That's the only time it's a different language. So that's not edifying nobody. Watch this. If any man speak in an unknown tongue, uh -huh. let it be by two or at the most by three. Right, so you have, you got to have interpreters for the language. You just got one word, right? Watch this. And that by course and let one interpret. Three. But if there be no interpreter, uh -huh. let him keep silence in the church. <laughs> if there is no interpreter, because nobody's going to sit here, you, you don't know Yiddish. You don't know. You speak English. I'm, Hold on. I'm, what? I'm not speaking Yiddish. I, I said it was Yiddish. Okay, listen. What is that the original tongue of Hebrew? No. So what are you speaking then? Okay, but Bruh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you speaking in? What is it? We Hebrew Israelites. Of course. We Israelites. So study Hebrew. That's no, no, that, that, but I'm trying to get you to understand that that's not our original language. God took that. Because the Bible just let you know that we take. Je hold on, Jeremiah. Hold that and come right back, all right? Watch, watch. Jeremiah 17 and 5 again. Watch. Right, right. But you were scattered and brought to America, so you speak English. That's how you're going to learn. That's how you learn. Watch this. Watch. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. God said you're going to stop your heritage. You're going to stop your culture, your language, your music, the things that you did. God said you're going to discontinue from it. Read. That I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. That's what happens. Go back to 1 Corinthians 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 28. But if there be no interpreter, let him keep silence in the church and let him speak to himself and to God. Let him speak to himself. So when we come out, we're going to speak English because that's what our people speak. We're going to say Jesus Christ because that's written in the Bible. That's the whole point of us coming out to edify our people because we don't have nothing but titles. When we read in Revelation 3 and 12, we don't get the name. We don't get the name of God or Christ until we endure to the end. That's scriptural. That's scriptural. Watch this, brother. Hold on. Watch this. No, no, no. Go to 33. Verse 33. 
For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. Okay, there you go. Here you go. Okay, go back to that first four, uh, 26. I'm going to say something to you in the in the Hebrew that you think is real. You tell me what it means. Okay, you listening? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Barakathon. Look it up! So now, why would you say you hey Wavev, which is in the same kind of language of Yiddish, and I say Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Barakathon? Understand? You hey Wavev is not in the scripture. Bro, read that again. I, 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 want, I, want to, I want to tell you something right quick. Bro. Listen what I'm telling you. Listen what I'm telling you, bro. Listen, when you say... Listen, bro. The reason why I have a mic, I don't want to say you think I'm being disrespectful. The reason why we have a mic is because we're in a neighborhood where our people destroy and it has to echo. So if we say something about another scripture that they don't know, it has to edify them as well. So it's not to overpower you. You understand that? The point is, is this. Do we... I'm asking you a simple question. As Israel, these people, do we have to know Hebrew and the name to get the kingdom of heaven? You don't have to know Hebrew, but you got to know the name. You got to know name. Okay, now, give me Revelation chapter 22, verse 14, and then Psalms 138, verse 2. Revelation first, then Psalms 138. You say, yes, we don't have to know Hebrew, but we got to know the name. Name, what you say? Name holds power. Okay. The name holds power. It's power in the name. It's right, right, right. We have to run to it. We are his children. Right. Proverbs 18. Why we say right. right. Time, All right. Now watch this. Right. So now I'm trying to. So I ask you a question. Do we have to know the name in Hebrew? You say no. We don't have to know Hebrew. No, no. Basically. I would just say exactly what you said earlier because it's on the tape. Okay. We we basically. Under okay. That's why we speak Six English. thousand. That's, uh, why, that's why basically you have an English name, right? Yeah, I have a slave name, and you have a slave name too. Right. That's so part, now. That's part of our curse, because we're the only ones like it, right? Right. They got names by an uh, Irishman, a Frenchman, right? Yeah. So now, I want to read something. Right quick. At that same Bible. Get it, get it too. Revelation 22, verse 14. So the name don't matter. You should keep your slave name. Anyway. I just know, because the Bible said change your name back so to your original name. You understand that? Name, but but the original Hebrew, we won't get it till Christ come back. That's all we're telling you. That's all the Bible's telling you. We're not telling you that, hey, bro, your name should be Billy Bob Jean your whole life. No, but that's your slave name. But we are here to rehearse. What's a rehearsal? Is that the real play? That's my question right quick, bro. I'm trying to get to a point. Is the rehearsal the real play? No. So we're here to rehearse the righteous acts. So what is righteous? Keeping the commandments. It's a commandment for us to give back our surname, which is Israel. Everybody that's on this side's last name is Israel. So you're supposed to rehearse those things. But is it the real Hebrew? No. But it's a rehearsal. God sees that he shows favor in that. Now let me read the scripture. Revelation chapter 22 verse 14. Let's see if the Bible says we must know the name to get to the kingdom. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Blessed are they that says you hey, wa hey. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Blessed are they that do the commandments. That they may have right. Earn. Endure to the end. Earn. To the tree of life. That they may earn the kingdom. So earning the kingdom, you must do works. The works is not yelling a name walking down the street because you said we read the scripture in 1 Corinthians 14. Everything we must do should be for the edification, right? right, right. So let's say that you're from another planet, right? And, you're, and you don't use the same numbers we use, but I'm trying to teach you math, right? Would I use the numbers we use? No, because you, no, you come from another planet, right? So if you speak uh, uh, English, why would I use Japanese letters to teach you? If you speak English, why would I use um, what's what's the Chinese, Spanish? Why would I teach you in Spanish? Did you understand the scripture just say you ain't, you ain't got to know the name? Did you understand the scripture say you ain't got to know the name to get the kingdom? We read the book that's in English. Okay. When we were young, they sent us to the program schools that was in English. They right. Told us English. They right. told us how to break down the definitions of English. So okay. Basically. 
Now we read the book. It's in English. Okay. If we're not getting an etymology where that word originated What's etymology mean? Where that word originated from. Okay, so you got the difference in etymology, right? Once you get the etymology of where the word originated from, that's What kind of word is etymology? Is etymology English? Let's look it up. Bruh. The word, no, no, no. It's using a regular E. What does that matter? Does the word I'm doing the etymology. Sister, what's your nationality? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? So how can you ask me a question when I ask your question? That's the problem with our people, man. I'm speaking to the man, the head of the household. That's right. You understand that? It's, it's time. We've been listening to Why Need a Bottle too long. <laughs> you listen to Psalm 38. My bad. My bad. Look, I've got this one last script. My bad. I forgot about it. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 138 and verse 2. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. So, praise his name, right? For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. What is the word of God? The Bible. Right. What's in the Bible? The laws of God. Right. What are you supposed to keep? The laws of God. Read right. that. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, no, you pay Wabe. Not according to this word, Egyptology. Not according to this word, the black woman's God. Not according to this word, Me. it is because there is no light in them. That's so right. it's right now, brother. We're saying it's no light in you because you're worried about this book, that book. You're holding the greatest book right now, and it's telling you keep the commandments and the faith in Christ. That's it's that simple. It's not division, it's not equals MC squared. You don't have to know the name. Okay. If you got an English book. No, I'm not saying that. Okay. I agree with you, brothers. We have to keep all laws. Okay. Over 600 laws. We have to keep them. Right. 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 I agree with you on that. What I'm saying. So why aren't you keeping them? I'm striving for perfection. So can I show you a law to help you as a brother? I don't need you to do that. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't even listen to me right now. Why don't you want me to help you? To get the kingdom. I'm listening. What I'm trying to do okay. is help you. I'm trying to help you, man. Bruh. I don't need your help because where y'all at right now, I, I see that. Okay, I'm already there. What I'm trying to do. You're not, you're not wearing fringes. You got your beard, but you're not wearing fringes. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.